here's a fun video for you. Um, my aunt sent me a bunch of masks that she's making for, uh, actually she's donating some of them, selling some of them for people who are obviously in public now need to be concerned about wearing masks. So she sent me a bunch of pictures and let me show you the finished product. Here in the slideshow, I'm going to go from the beginning here and I automated the show and now we have this beautiful effect of these pictures that she sent me that she wanted to make sure that she showcased the actual mask that she made. So as you see here, it's just going through the different layouts and PowerPoint really did all this work for me. So she loves the effect. Uh, we ended up creating a video and I'm going to show you how we can use several different features in PowerPoint to achieve the same thing. So a quick little video on how you can get this effect and we'll go ahead and do that for you now. All right, so I'm going to hit escape to get out of the slideshow. I'll go over to the other PowerPoint that's here and all I did was I took the pictures that she sent me. So basically what happened is I pasted all the pictures into PowerPoint and I let PowerPoint start doing the work from here. So the first thing that you want to use is called design ideas. So we're going to go to the design tab and we'll go over to the right to design ideas. Once you turn that on, a lot of the magic happens for you. So bet you thought I arranged all those myself. I'm not going to take credit. There's several different arrangements that you can see here. Just kind of pick on the ones that you like. And if you see something that's going to be great for you, right? Just get all kinds of choices on how PowerPoint is laying this out for you. So just go through what you like. And then this one even has a border around it if you like that effect. Um, but we'll just go ahead and we'll pick one of the ones that's just going to be a little bit more plain. And the other thing you can do is just simply just move them around and see what happens. So as you start moving this and making this one a little larger, you can just kind of see what happens in the design ideas. Move that around, move this around move that around. Now, nothing happened on the design ideas there, but as you click on the different ones, then it starts rearranging those for you. So I want to make this one a little larger. And as you see, when you're doing that, it's just adjusting it for you. Okay. So if I wanted to be able to put this one in the larger position, this one in the smaller position, you could actually make that one smaller here. And then make this one the larger picture. If you don't like some of the things that it's doing for you, you can try to do it yourself. Right? Make this one just maybe put it in a different position. Now, I'm going to turn off design ideas here. Turn back on design ideas and see what it does. So sometimes it'll give you more choices. Sometimes you just click on, oh, look, it put it into the position with a larger uh, picture. So, if I had more pictures to add, I would just throw another picture in there. For instance, if I were to cut this picture here, then at that point, then it, it rearranges them without that picture. So I'm going to undo to bring it back, and I'll do a, a control X this time. I put design ideas back up there, and it sees less pictures. So now it's arranging it without that picture. And if you throw that picture back on there, then it's making room for the new picture there. So design idea is real simple to work with when you're adding pictures, taking pictures away, but just throw your pictures on the slide. Any arrangement will do. It'll figure out how you want those. So now I have something to work with. Okay, so what I did to be able to get that effect more was, it. it's nice to see all of the actual masks that are here, but at this point, I'm going to hit Control M, that gives me another slide, and it gives me the same design as last time. I just made basically made sure that this was a blank slide. So when you go to Home and you go to Layout, this is a blank. Okay, so at that point I repeated the one from before and it just gave me a blank. So let's say that I really like this mask. Let's say this mask right here. I want people to have a closer look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to paste this on this slide. And then it just does all kinds of nice designs, right, with that look. So I'm, I'm going to take this design right here and just make it bigger. And it's beautiful, right? And at this point, I could just do get more designs and it's going to show me other layouts 
to try to help me with that too. Okay, so I'm satisfied with this look. And what I want to do now is get another blank slide. So remember, Control M is in Mary, gives me another slide. So what I really want to do now is make sure that I showcase some of the other masks. So to me, these are kind of in the same color scheme right here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and highlight both of those. I'll hold down Shift to highlight both and copy and then Control C and then Control V on this page. Well, it just starts arranging those for me. So you can see that it really does a good job of just making this work all together. It just looks like you've just taken a lot of time to work on these two different slides and most of the work was done for you. Okay, so let's make sure that we got them all. So we have one, two, three. Uh, so I have these one, two, three, and I really want to make sure I showcase the rest of these. So I'm just going to do this and then take another one that has green in it, and then I'll do these last three together. So I'll highlight both of those, hit Control C, go down to the bottom, hit Control M, undo that, go down to the bottom, hit Control M, and then Control V. And it's arranging those as well. So, I like this effect that it's doing here, or this effect that it's doing here. That's kind of a neat effect that it did, but I think I'll like this one more. Okay, so I have this that's there, and you're just choosing. So I'll take these last three, the silver and the yellows, and copy that, Control C, and go down to the bottom, and then make sure that I do Control M, and then Control V. So real simple how it did that and that's a nice layout for me there okay so now you see that we have all of these slides that are done now remember on the other effect I actually had a smooth transition so if I were to go here and just play this slideshow from the beginning then at this point blank here then it shows that and it's kind of boring but there we have them all laid out okay Okay, so let's add some effects to this. What I want to do now is I want to add a transition. So this transition that I'm interested in is a new one in PowerPoint called Morph. Morph makes everything just have a very smooth transition. It makes it seem like it glides seamlessly. So I'm going to do a Morph transition for here and all of the sides. So I'm going to hit control, Slides, I'm going to hit Control A, and then I'm going to choose Morph. And when it does that, then it's going to kind of morph all of the transitions. I want to make sure that this is going to run by itself. So I'll just do a couple of seconds here. And then I'm going to hit apply to all. All right. A lot of people think that means two minutes is two seconds and apply to all. So it'll just kind of go from one to the other automated now. So we use the transitions to morph this. Now I'm going to show you how it looks and then I'm going to show you how to make morph be a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to do from the beginning. And as you see it now, it's going to morph every two seconds to another slide. So that's pretty smooth. And then that's pretty smooth. And then the next one doesn't have the effect that I want. So I'm going to make this effect work better with morph. And I'll show you what I mean. So let me come out of this now. And I happen to have noticed that when I have all of the mask on this slide, and I morphed to that one, that was very smooth. But when I don't have a picture of these two masks on the one previous, it's not as smooth. So I'm just going to copy this presentation or this slide here. So hit Control C as you're on that slide too. And then I'm going to click on slide three because when I, when I paste, it'll place below. So I'm just copying that so it gives it a transition to go to the next one as well. And then if I go down after this one, Right, if I click on slide five, then I want to be able to paste there. If I click on slide six, I mean seven, I want to be able to paste there. And then this one here, let's say that we want to be able to go from here. Let's paste one more time. And then let's remove some of these. So um, let's make sure we have this one. Let's make sure that that one, so I'm going to leave that one and I'm going to leave this one and I'll just remove some of these other ones. 
So you'll see how this effect kind of works in just a second. So I'm going to remove some of these other ones and let design ideas fix up this slide for me on this last one. So I'll make design ideas work for me again. This will all make sense in just a moment. And we'll do a completely different layout. And then I'll even put a title on this slide. So home, we'll do title only. And we'll say uh, designs. Hi, Valerie. Contact at right uh, sample sample dot com. Okay, so that we have all of that there. I'll highlight that, just make that a little smaller. All right, so basically we're all set now with what I've set up. So I have my good transition slides here that are going to work. So it'll make that a little smoother. And why not start out this whole thing with just a nice picture that can just be copied to the very first slide. So we'll just copy one of these. It doesn't matter which one that I choose because they're all in the next ones. So it gives me all of these on the title slide and it just designs it for us. So what you're seeing as a theme is just click on right the different designs once you have that. And then we'll say um, mass. Hi, Valerie. That's her name. And then she was selling these masks for just $13 each. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. All right, so we have all of that information. Now that the transition, as you can see here, it has the transition on each slide, even though it says animation is a transition. And we're going to see how this works a little smoother. So let's go back to the slideshow. Let's start from the beginning. F5, by the way, way would work for this. Be able to see how F5, there's your shortcut. So now every two seconds, now we're going to see more. Actually seem like it's moving the objects. Because we really made a seamless presentation by making sure that there's a picture of the last mask in each one of these views, it makes it very easy to transition into. So see how that's just such a smooth transition. So this really makes Morph effective when you learn how Morph likes to work. It just seems to move it back into position once you do that. Okay, so we're going to use Morph to set us up to create a video. And there you go. All right, so that's the end of the presentation. We're all set now to be able to just create this as a video so you can post it on Facebook is what we eventually did or on your website or whatever you'd like to do. So we're going to go to File and then go to Export and then Create a Video. All right, so I did not name this presentation yet, so it would obviously be a little smarter to go ahead and name this. And we'll put it on Cornerstone Learning Hub, where I have a lot of my videos. So I'll just say Mass by Valerie. It's fine for me to go ahead and name that. And then we'll go and we will export it. So it makes it so convenient in PowerPoint when you can actually create the video. And I'll put it under my videos. So I'll be able to get it quickly. I'll just say Mass by Valerie. I will leave it as that. And watch it down here at the bottom. It's just creating a video for you. So it's actually making sure that all the narrations and the transitions that you have in there are all being captured. And it's just spacing out your video nicely for you. So take all the guesswork out of it. We don't have to be expert designers. PowerPoint really has the tools within it to just kind of stay within the application and use some of the features, uh, some of the newer features, some of the older features together to combine a successful video. So I hope that this was helpful for you. Once you actually have saved this, just go to your destination. You can upload that video wherever you need to upload it. Like I said, I did this right to Facebook and uh, people love to be able to see that out on Facebook once we did that. So. Uh, 
please let me know if you have any questions on this video or if you want to know more about how to do things like that just make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't miss any other videos coming out like that